Hello friends. As we all know, that profound passion for learning is the foremost step towards mastering an art. For mastering any skill, extensive training and meticulous practice is must. Acharya Shushruk recognized the importance of skill building in the field of Shalya Tantra, which is evident from elaborate practical sessions mentioned in Yogya Sutriya Chapter 9 of Shushu Sahita Sutra Sthan. He says, to gain efficiency in surgical procedures, the disciples were asked to try their knives repeatedly, first on natural and artificial objects, resembling the diseased parts of the body before undertaking an actual surgery. The main reason of this presentation, along with Vishika Anupravesh, in which he explains regarding entering of a medical student from academic field to professional practice field, where the surgeon deals with the patients directly. The main reason for this ordered presentation of chapter is that before entering into medical profession, the medical student has to master the art of surgical practice and technique on various living as well as non-living objects if there is no major intervention in order to become a successful surgeon in future. As per Acharya Shushu, prime importance has been given for practical knowledge along with textual knowledge. Acharya Shushush says one who lacks practical knowledge and cannot apply the theoretical knowledge into practice is just like a coward in the battlefield who can neither fight the opponent nor die with courage. He has been emphasized so seriously for new learners to practice similar operations on similar objects for obtaining highest rate of success otherwise he cannot be a life giver even after thoroughly learned all the scriptures. During past several years, surgical masters researched for providing an opportunity to achieve and evaluate skills through repeated practice within a safe and controlled environment. Newer modalities which are incorporated for achieving this aim are surgical models, dummy, mannequin, 3D to 7D printing models, virtual reality models, various type of simulators, robotic simulators, and nowadays a very popular tally surgery. Now the Ashtavit Shastrakarma or eight surgical procedures and their yoga as mentioned by Acharya Shushu. First is chedan or excision of a diseased or damaged part by using scalpel or surgical knife. That is different shastra as mandalag or circular knife, karpatra or bone saw, vridhi patra or scalpel. For this purpose, various objects like pumpkin, bottle gourd, watermelon, cucumber, etc. are mentioned. Different excision techniques should be practiced on these objects. The idea behind selection of these types of fruits is that outer surface of these fruits are not very hard and resembles the touch and texture of the human skin and the inner compartment is bulky and soft so that a new scholar can easily cut and feel that what much pressure is required for cutting or excising any part from the human body. Also, beginner can know how to hold a surgical blade for performing excision in upward, downward and circular direction. Once any scholar is experienced on Chedan Shastrakarm, he can execute in the clinical conditions like 
This method is used to remove the abnormal collection of fluids in different body cavities and to evacuate the vitiated rakt dosha, so which is known as the rakt visravan. The procedure of visravan should be practiced on a piece of shalmali wood coated with beeswax. It is preferred for visravan karm because beeswax is a soft material when incision can be practiced. It also offers the similar feeling like skin. The bark of shalmali wood contains plenty of liquid material. So whenever a scholar can intend to practice this Raman Kam on this model, he will experience on how to take a fine incision for free flowing of liquids or fluids to be evacuated. Sivan Kam or Suchari. This technique is defined for approximation of cut margins of wounds which are produced by surgical or non-surgical processes. Approximation of margins anatomically has paramount importance in surgical practice. This technique should be practiced on the borders of fine and closely knitted clothes feet species and on the borders of soft leather. Bandhan or bandaging technique. A suitable bandhan helps for early healing of crushed, lacerated wound and to stabilize the fracture, dislocation, subluxation, etc. So that a wounded person can sleep well, able to walk and sit comfortably. The scholar who designed to learn bandhan, one should practice on different parts of the dummies made up of clothes and many things. Shar and Agni Karm are most important parasurgical tools mentioned in Ayurvedic surgery, but lack of clinical skill and negligence, they can produce more hazard than benefits. Thus, one who wants to become skilled to use Shar and Agni Karm, he must practice these procedures on similar objects like a suitable soft muscle piece because the signs of Samya Dag can be observed better in a muscle feed. Acharya Shushud says, Thou, a scholar, has fully understood all surgical principles, but he cannot be competent without practicing yoga. He also clearly says that an intelligent scholar can select or modify other suitable objects for more precise expertise and accuracy in different parasurgical as well as well as surgical procedures for its future use. As we un understand that it's up to us that we can uplift Ayurveda with the help of modern technologies as there is enforced need to teach beginners the actual applicability of Yogya Sutriya. There is a lot of scope and need for applying the principles mentioned in it with modern science advancements for improving surgical skills. Thank you for patient listening. That's all for today. Take care, stay home, stay safe.